Today we're going to show you what a widgie bar is. This is a micro crowbar uh, made out of uh, very high carbon uh, steel forged um, and uh, we're going to show you how to wrap it today uh, with some parachute cord. Really basic wrap, very simple to do. Uh, this is a five millimeter seven strand paracord. You can find this anywhere on the web. Um, I'm using orange today to just to show you uh, how uh, easy it comes out, show the knots a little bit. Um, you need about four feet of this material to do a bar uh, that's about five and a half to six inches long. Um, and you want to burn the ends a little bit with a with a torch to or a match and uh, make sure that your your ends are are sealed. <clears throat> and really basically all you do is you come through the um, the fork end of the uh, bar and you come out the back end with a simple loop like that and you want to leave yourself about about six inches here on this end. You're not going to use a lot of this. And the wrap is a very basic wrap. Basically um, we just start here and go over the top. You always want to keep this line as straight as you can. And then we're going to go under. And then we go back over the top, pulling as we go along, and back under. And back over. And you can see how it takes on a, a nice style right away. Very impressive to do, but simple. And back under again. And you keep doing this until you get to the end. Some people like to do this with wet paracord and this works great for um, stainless steel blades things like that uh, it'll work on this also but you have to dry it right away uh, we use a little hairspray at the end to keep your knots tight actually it's always good to put this in a vise on the end when you're doing this you can make it very very tight <coughs> without even soaking it and uh, and that's what this end is used for just looping it up and going under and over, back down, over the top, and you can adjust this as you go along. When we get toward close, close to the end, basically that's where people get a little bit hung up and it's real simple. Basically, you want one side to come out on one side and the other side of the parachute to come, cord to come out on the other side. So they're opposing each other. And the way to do that is, you just pull this side down, poke this side through here like that. I like to use a little pair of tweezers. I just shove it through the hole there. Sometimes it's a little bit stubborn, but... And that's how the end is finished. Basically, you can cut it off or put a barrel knot on the end. Uh, if you cut it, just cut it on a nice flat surface with a nice sharp razor blade. Like that. You can use a cord lock. Grab one here. Cord lock or cord tip is just basically, I like to seal these ends also, basically a little cord tip like this. Uh, that You put it in here like that and there's little barbs in there and you fold it over and give it a little squeeze there and then you can come back and adjust these before you spray it down and that's basically it here's one done in ACU another one we did earlier on take one but they're impressive they're simple they're handy and they're fun to make that's it Here's your widgie bar.